So we just got the key to the basement and now we should head down there before anything happens. We are Dr. Eva Rosalyn, Senior Memory Transversal Agent from Sigmund Corporation. We're with Tommy, who doesn't like turtles, and Sarah, aspiring professional ice cream taster, aiming for the top. And our client is doing okay over there. Got some good dreams, kids. This is the basement. We play hide and seek here. Turn on the light before you trip over something. Let's grab that. So this room apparently was very weird according to the kids. We used to find all kinds of cool junk here. Moldy books, moldy buckets, moldy cheese, you name it. Once we were down here and the lights were out and Tommy fell down those stairs. He chipped a tooth, but that's okay because he's ugly to begin with. Oh, poor Tommy. Okay, so we're just taking a tour around the house right now. I'm not really too sure what I'm supposed to do. Boxes filled with colored papers. The cabinet is filled with dusty books. So the old dude whose house we're in, he seems like a art type person. He's got a lot of paintings and papers around. This is locked. Not much we can do there. chest is locked, another locked chest. Okay, let's quickly take a look at the bookshelf. Oh, a dusty pile of anamorph books sit here. Oh, I remember those. The good old days. Well, oh, so everything's locked down here. Oh, we opened the door with a room key. It's a, like a, it's like a cave in here. Okay, let's turn on the light. Whoa! Those bunnies? Are they alive? No, they're made out of paper. A rabbit folded out of paper. That was very unexpected. A stuffed toy platypus. It looks adorable enough to annoy Neil. Might come in handy. Oh, let's poke it. Oh, it fell down. Guess let's grab it. Maybe we'll need it later. Broken music box, we will fix it later. Uh, it doesn't look like we can move around the room. The little bunnies are all blocking us. Okay. Did you see it? What do you two know about all those rabbits? Nothing. The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so we never told him. There's more of them, actually. Where? Inside the abandoned lighthouse. It's just beneath this cliff. Wanna go see? I got the keys. You aren't supposed to go in there either, are you? <laughs> Remind me to never take you to Neil's house. So you want to go see the lighthouse? Well, it's rather cold outside, but... Well, since we're waiting for the machine anyways, ah, uh, let's go see the lighthouse. You know what? Fine, maybe it'll tell me more about those rabbits. Let's go and check that old lighthouse out. So, I- it sounds like we are gonna go into the old man's memories. But before we can do so, we need to kind of learn a little bit more about him. So I think going to the lighthouse might be a good idea. I don't know how safe it is, me taking two kids outside to the lighthouse. It should be fine. So this way? Oh, we seem to be going somewhere. Oh, there it is. There it is! We need to head south to the street and take the other path to get down to it though. Yeah, I forgot my parachute. Oh, okay. So there's another road? Nope, can't go down this way. So, I hope I'm going the right way. 
So to go down south, oh, over here. Oh, more squirrels, look, they're so cute. Uh, this is where we came from. Oh no! My novelty beach ball, someone broke it! That was us. It was stupid anyway. But what is the bestest novelty beach ball I've ever had? Oh, who could have been so cruel? Uh, look, I'll buy you another one. No, don't do it! You will? Sure, but we kind of need to get going now. Yeah, we, we poked it with a stick and we broke it. I feel kind of bad. We had the option to push the ball out of the way, and I decided that they look too big to be pushed. I regret that decision now. It's smoking! Who's that dummy that crashed that car? Not me. It's pretty dark out. Aren't you kids scared? Of course not. We roleplay it away. What? Tommy's a super powerful knight and I'm a mighty magician. Yeah, we destroy all evil. Oh, that's, uh, that's nice. Do you want to roleplay too? I, uh, no. She's not cool enough to do it. Hey, I could if I wanted to. Just you children watch. Should we bring them to the squirrel that we killed? No, that would be cruel. Oh, is that a sleeping golden squirrel? Can we capture it? This reminds me of Terraria. Oh, a squirrel! Oh no, it's a terrible squirrel gone! Don't worry, children, I'll protect you! They're so confused. Uh, what? This is like a JRPG type thing. Why am I killing another squirrel? I don't want to kill it. Do we have to? Will it? Okay, well, I guess we have to. We have a volcanic jump kick, whirlwind slap, or. Armageddon fist or shoe? Let's slap the squirrel. Yelling volume. Loud, louder, loudest. Loudest, of course. Your time is at an end, squirrel gone. Yeah! Stop it! We will tell Ma you animal abuse! Yeah, she'll call the cops on you! What? I was just. I wasn't gonna. Didn't you say you liked role-playing? You should be ashamed of yourself! I'm so ashamed right now. Let's name it Teddy Bear. Okay. Let's just forget this happened. Oh, I was trying to play with the kids. I thought I was going somewhere cool. We had like exciting music and everything and... Okay, kids don't know what's fun. Uh, where are we trying to go? Ah, over here. I have to say, I'm really liking this game so far. It's so pretty, and the dialogue is really cute and funny. I'm really enjoying it. Okay, let's go see the bunnies in the lighthouse then. In memory of River E. Wiles. River Wiles? Was she John's wife? Don't know. Come on, the lighthouse is right there. Sounds like it's his wife. Pretty small, pretty cramped. Not much to see. Oh, there's the bunny rabbits. This is it! Oh, there's something up here. Seems like it hasn't been lit in years. Oh, this is the light bulb for the lighthouse. A multicolored paper rabbit. 
Hey, this wasn't here when we came last week. Oh yeah, Johnny must have come here before he fell ill again. This is the only one with two colors, huh? You know, these things actually look pretty hard to fold. Kind of an odd hobby though. Oh, that's my phone. It's Watts. Is everything ready? Alright, I'll be right there. Why do you have a creepy ringtone? Because it scares the monsters away. Come on, let's just head back. Oh, we took the paper rabbit. Oh, why don't you be late by another half an hour? Not like we're gonna- we got a dying client or anything. I got caught up in something. I got caught up in something too. It's called our job. Get off your high horse. I'm late just this one time and you milk it. At least tell me we're good to go. Of course we are, because I'm competent. Your helmet's on the couch. Chop chop. Oh. Let's grab the helmet and see... What? No, wait, 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 wait. Keep talking, people. By the way, I'm curious. How does it work? Do you just write him another life, like a novel? No, we can't just make up new memories out of thin air. Then how do you do it? Not us. The machine does most of it. Naturally, since we aren't paid enough to get our hands dirty. In a nutshell, we simply travel through his memories to as early as possible. When we do, we would then transfer his registered desire of going to the moon. To the reconstruction of the world and himself at the early state. And with the help of a wiki of data and his own, the machine will then simulate a rerun. Except this time, he'll have the motivation of his registered desire with him all his life. So you'd be depending on him fulfilling his own wish by simply having the desire to? How could that be? Everyone has ambition for things, but most don't accomplish them. That's because in the real world, ambitions fluctuate and fade. People start with things with a passion, but eventually they lose the initiative, initial drive and slow down. But imagine if you locked onto that initial push through your entire life, never wavering. It's more powerful than it seems. That being said, no ambition is going to help a dead man. We better get start. Go, better go get started. Oh, of course. Sorry. Go on. I'll watch over his physical conditions through the procedure. Oh, so we're going to go through his memories and help him get to the moon. He does not look well at all. Uh, vitals are still good. Okay, let's go into the machine then. Watts, anything sarcastic to say? Nothing new. Okay. Alright, here we go. This should be the last accessible memory. Disable speech for all except Johnny. Done. Let's get him. At any time, you can view your position in time by moving the mouse towards the top of the screen. Ooh. Well, it's kind of like, like a rewind almost. Oh, so the paintings aren't done yet. I guess we could go downstairs. It looks mostly the same. There's like odd patches blocking our way. Could be that the memory isn't fully reconstructed.
Are we supposed to find Johnny? I don't know where we're supposed to go. Uh, we, I guess we could check out the lighthouse. If it's still there. Johnny? What a pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors around here. My name is Dr. Eva Rosaline, and this is... Dr. Von Matterhorn. Dr. Lorenzo Von Matterhorn. Dr. Neil Watts. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Oh, are you two from the agency? How convenient. I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. L Lily? Actually, you've already called us. We're here to fulfill our contract from the relative future. Careful there, if you slip off the cliff, we're gonna have to reload this memory. Watch it, Neil, show some respect. It's just a program, you know? I know, but this is his last accessible memory and we need its cooperation. Worst comes to worst, we can just reboot it. Why would you waste time like that? You... You're here to take me to the moon, aren't you? Yes, John. I suppose I had a good run. Not good enough, it seems. So, you can do it? Can you take me to the moon? We can't, but you might be able to. Why would you want to go there? I don't know. It's fine, you can tell us. It's essential for helping us to get you there. Do you want the fame? The money? You've got to have a motive. I'm sorry, but I really don't know. I just do. I can already tell that this is going to be a pain in the ass. Nevertheless, Johnny, here's what we will do. We need to get to your childhood, but it is too distant to do so in one memory hop. Thus, we will need to transverse through your memories with gradual backward leaps, which you've given us the permission to do in the relative future. Once we lay down the waypoints in your childhood memories for direct access, we will return here. That's when you'll need to help us influence the childhood you to become an astronaut or to get on a giant catapult. The point is, you'll need to have more to say than just I don't know. As long as you take, can take me to the moon, I will cooperate in any way possible. Good. Now, in order to leap to a memory, we need an item that is of importance to you. Do you have a memento of some sort to get us started? That'll do. Well, it's the bunny that we took. Well, shall we? Ladies first. Should we grab this? Do we already have a bunny in our inventory? We have a plush toy of a duck-billed platypus. And we have another paper rabbit. Dual-colored rabbit made from folded paper. Let's grab this quickly. Receive note, moon. We'll need to prepare this memento first. 
Let's prepare them. Click the orbs to flip pieces. Oh, it's kind of like a puzzle, mini puzzle. Oh, it's pretty easy. Oh, so we're using this to to jump jump to his memory. Well, I guess so. Let's do that. 